Hey folks, Mobile Geezer back with this week's Geezer Bits for Sunday, March 18th, 2018. So first up, Broadcom has lost its bid for Qualcomm. The acquisition was nixed by the president. Broadcom is currently based in China, but is in the process of moving its headquarters to the United States. But President Trump's panel that vets foreign deals recommended squashing the deal. So President Trump immediately issued an order to stop the deal. Broadcom has withdrawn their offer. Personally, I don't think it would have gone through anyway, because it was a hostile takeover. Broadcom made two offers that Qualcomm said were seriously undervaluing them. So I don't think it would have ever gone through. Next up, Amazon is recalling 260,000 Amazon Basics battery packs due to fire risks. There were 53 overall reported incidents, four showing property damage, and one person actually got chemical burns. Amazon immediately recalled them all, and hopefully they'll get this figured out and not go through what uh, Samsung went through with the Note 7. Next up, Honor View 10 began showing up in lots of videos this week. I don't know if it's officially released in the U.S., but it seems to be a good phone and have the bands that would allow it to work in all the U.S. bands. Comes in at $499, so it seems to be direct competition with the OnePlus 5T. It's another 18 by 9 aspect ratio device with good specs, and most of the videos that I've seen on it are saying good things about it. I uh, don't know where you can buy it other than at Honor's U.S. site. Amazon has a listing for it, but seems to be out of stock at the moment. But if you want to check it out, I guess you can go check out some of the videos, and you can go to Honor's U.S. site if you want to buy. Then Kitty Hawk, a company led by Google co-founder Larry Page and Sebastian Thrun, founder of Google X, which is Google's self-driving car unit, will begin testing a new self-flying air taxi service in rural New Zealand. The taxi can carry two passengers with a little human assistance. I'm not quite sure what that means. It takes off like a helicopter and then flies like a normal fixed-wing craft. The aircraft is called Cora and the company has obtained airworthiness certificates from both the New Zealand Civil Aviation Authority and the Federal Aviation Administration in the U.S. Of course, there are sim similar efforts going on in the U.S. Notably, Uber is working with Bell Helicopter to come up with their own flying taxi. So I guess we've entered the age of the Jetsons, folks, or we soon will. And finally, Fitbit debuted two new watches this week, the Fitbit Versa for adults and the Fitbit Ace for kids. The Versa, the Versa comes in at $200, which is much more affordable than last year's Fitbit Ionic and nowhere near as ugly, and has new software on board for better fitness tracking. The Fitbit Ace will sell for $100, which seems like a pretty good price for me. Both are up for pre-order at Fitbit's site and will be available for purchase in April. And finally, we picked up our Galaxy S9 on Friday from Best Buy, and I've been uploading some videos on it. I've done a couple of, I've done one front-facing and one rear-facing video, and of course I've been putting pictures up on all the social sites. So so far extremely pleased with it and this will become my wife's phone in a couple of weeks so it behooves me to get as much done as fast as I can. So that's all I have this week folks. As always, comments are welcome and thanks for watching.
Out of the radio, out of the radio. 